Okay, here we are again. We are making some great progress on our hill. It doesn't look like much, but we are. We're learning a lot of new stuff. We just finished the row where we did knit one, slip one, knit one, slip one, knit one, slip one, knit one, slip one. And now we are ready to turn it around and work on the wrong side again. And let me show you on the pattern where we got to. We're at the make heel section here. And we already divided the stitches. We did the first next row. We did the second next row. Now we're ready for the third next row. And that's the one where all you do is purl. Just purl. That's all we're going to do. We're going to purl straight across. And then we're going to repeat the last two rows, the knit one, slip one row, and the purl row, over and over again for two inches, ending with a right side row. So let's do the purl row, which is going to be so easy. Just purl all the way across. So just put that there. And just purl every stitch. So you purl that slipped stitch, and then you purl that knitted stitch. And you're going to see that the um, stitching feels a little different with those slipped stitches. But you'll get used to it after you do it. So make sure you don't purl two together. Make sure you're just purling them straight as they come off the needles. And purl that slipped stitch. And then you purl the knitted stitch. Just like that. So you continue purling yours. And I'm going to continue purling mine. And then after you finish that purl row, just go back up and do another knit and slip one row. And then do another purl row. Just keep going back and forth. And then you um, keep doing that until your heel um, measures two inches, ending with the right side row. So when they say ending with the right side row, that means you need to finish knitting an entire row on the right side. So you'll need to finish knitting one of those rows that's knit one, slip one, knit one, slip one. And then when you finish that knit slip row, don't do another purl row after you've already finished two inches. Now, let's think about the two inches that they're talking about. You know that they're not talking about two inches from the beginning of your sock because we've already gone beyond two inches when we made our sock. We did our ribbing and then we did our angle and we had to knit for a certain number of inches, right? So the two inches that they're talking about for your heel is just going to be what's on this needle. And it's going to, you're going to start measuring from where the stitches look different here. You'll see everything is just straight up to here. And then all of a sudden we start the slipping and the purling and everything. So that is where you're going to start measuring your two inches from. And you'll be able to see it on the outside too because you'll see that that section looks a little bit different up there. The further we keep going you'll see it. So I'm going to work another row of just knit and slip here to remind you how that goes. So if you're on the right side you knit one, slip one, purl wise. Knit one, slip one, purl wise. And just keep doing that all the way across and then we'll do another row of just purling and um, just keep doing that until it's two inches up on your um, two inches in this new stitch design that's a good way to describe it so I will see you after you finish your two inches of your heel and then we're going to be ready to start shaping the heel so that's another exciting part of our project I hope you have a good time working on yours. I'm going to keep working on mine and I'll see you soon. Bye!